Welcome to part two of the GOST uh, strategy framework. In part one, we took a look at goals, objectives, strategies, and tactics uh, with a focus on defining them and then looking very deeply at how strategies and tactics are similar, different, and connected. So it might make sense for you to pause this video and go check that one out first. In part two, right here, we're gonna look at the GOST strategy framework with an example of Amazon, so you can see how it all comes together. Hey, this is Adam with Strategy Kiln, where we demystify and simplify business challenges. If you want the slides that accompany this video here, check them out over at strategykiln.com. Let's get into it. Okay, so I know you've been waiting at the edge of your seats for this. This is the full scale example of Amazon, um, the whole strategy cascade. We're gonna take a look at it now. What I want you to be mindful of as we look at this example is that some of the numbers on here are accurate, others I kind of just pulled directionally. This is meant to be illustrative, so bear with me, it's, it's a scrappy uh, approach, but it should, it should do a nice job for us here. So orienting us to this slide, on the top you see goals, objectives, strategies, and tactics. And then on the left side you see it goes from broad to a bit more focused. So corporate level strategy, going down to business unit strategy, and then trickling down to program level uh, strategy, which could be marketing strategy, operational strategy, could even be IT strategy, right? Could even be as, as focused as a seasonal campaign at this program level. Uh, interconnectedness here, uh, where things reinforce each other. Uh, so let's get into it. So here at the corporate level, you likely start out very broad, right? So for Amazon, a goal could be deliver more quality products to our customers than ever before. And their objective, you know, this is a gargantuan objective for a company that's over $200 billion, right? Increase revenue 30% uh, year over year. And then again, a fairly broad strategy, create omni-channel experiences across growth industries and then tactics acquire Whole Foods, acquire PillPack, which has become Amazon Pharmacy, uh, and expand the Amazon uh, Locker Network. What you see now is that these strategies from the corporate level flow down into the business unit level. Um, so we see acquire Whole Foods as a tactic at the corporate level. For the business uh, unit level, you can see that's cascaded down uh, as part of the goal, right? So leverage Whole Foods acquisition to become a leader in grocery delivery. We've got some numerical objectives there. Then we have strategies and tactics. So looking at the tactics here, again, an example of the cascade effect and how there's uh, all of this interlocking happening. So if you've got a tactic here under the business unit level and just to bring it back a step, business unit level, that could be for Amazon, it could be the grocery division, a business unit could be the fashion division of Amazon, it could be at the brand level, so it could be Amazon Essentials, so that, that's what we mean by business unit. Could be a brand, could be something a little bit more business unit distinctive like uh, clothing, you get the gist. Uh, but looking at the tactic here, install Amazon lockers in Whole Foods to create awareness via marketing. So that was a tactic in the business unit section. But when we come down here to the strategy under the program level, and we're using an example of marketing here, you can see that now that tactic of installing Amazon lockers, it's being reinforced as a strategy here. So sometimes tactics at the business unit level could become a strategy at the program level. It's all, it's all very fluid, so you have to get a feel for it. Obviously, there's art and science effects happening here. So the strategy is drive awareness of Amazon lockers and Whole Foods, and then you get to those crystal clear, like tangible tactics, right? So now we're saying email campaign to current Amazon customers. That's that thing, right, that you can touch. It's tactics are tangible. That's what we talked about in part one. Uh, paid television and digital media, that's another thing. It's really something you can point to. So again, we've, we've shown how the, the cascade comes together. Sometimes a tactic can become a strategy at a lower level, but everything is really reinforced and connected here. Okay, so hopefully now you believe in ghosts. 
I like to leave these videos with an enduring understanding. I know we've said it, but the GOST framework is a great place to put your goals, objectives, strategy, tactics all in one place so you get visibility to them so you can clearly understand for yourself how the corporate business and program level strategies and tactics and everything are all working together to meet goals and objectives across the cascade and it creates something that can you, you can hand to others to create visibility on what's happening, what you're doing, and also how they fit in. Also, I would like to ask, leave comments if you have any thoughts or feedback on this video. There is almost nobody out there that could be a quote unquote expert at strategy. So I'm very open to your interpretation on what you think strategy is, how you think you could use the GOST framework, any enhancements you might have, please leave those in the comments below. And also, if you've got any ideas for future videos or areas where I could perhaps go a little bit deeper, please send those in the comments as well, or shoot me an email at questions at strategykiln.com. And don't forget to head to strategykiln.com to download slides, frameworks, and see all of our videos. Please like this channel and subscribe to this channel. The YouTube algorithm really likes it when you show engagement and it'll help us out in a big way so other people can see these videos. Uh, I really appreciate it.